it it's been it's been a pretty cool ride and you know now now with cobra kai it's I appreciate what you said about my character. I'm, I'm blessed and grateful that uh, Lyle, but nobody even knows his name, you know, on IMDb and whatever it says Lyle, but everyone knows the pawn shop guy, you know? So I, uh, I'll even hashtag, you know, pawn shop guy. I, I have a little uh, uh, Facebook page, uh, Cobra Kai, hashtag pawn shop guy. And, um, I feel really blessed and grateful that, you know, this character has kind of become one of those fan favorite roles that, you know, it could have been nothing. It, you know, I could have been, you know, in one scene and done, but what, what the producers, hey, Dudley, come here, look, say hi, come here, no, no, come here, get it. Dudley is my 100 pound yellow lab. There he is, there hey, he is. Hey. Get him <laughs> Good doggy. Oh, he dropped it. Here, catch it. Anyway, <laughs> um, awesome. The the just the fact that you know uh, the producers, God bless them, um, and the viewers saw what Johnny, well, what Billy and I were doing, and. They just said, uh, we'd like more. So uh, I can, it's, you know, there's no secret at this point. I can say that I am in season three as well. And I'm grateful for that. Uh, we got lucky. I mean, we filmed season three towards the end of last year. We had the reps, the rep party and everything. I think it was, it was November, or December. Dudley, that's not going to work. You, you can't make those noises. He's got one of his stuffies. Okay. We're, we're dog friendly here. It's okay. We're dog friendly here. Oh, listen, he, he's my boy. He's my boy, but I just don't want to hear the squeaking while we're trying to talk, <laughs> uh, you know? So um, we were very fortunate in that we had filmed season three already yeah. and uh, Netflix Netflix originally was, you know, one of the potential suitors for the show, but YouTube just came in strong and they went that route. But then YouTube uh, was changing their format and getting back to, you know, what YouTube is known for and getting out of scripted programming. And, you know, every, the stars aligned and Netflix said, yes, please, especially because with no production going on because of COVID and that we already had season three in the can, edited, ready to go. That was a, uh, that was a really, uh, just one of those God smacks, you know? Wow. Yeah, and it's just when you watch, and I was, the reason why I, jo I joined YouTube uh, Red, I think it was at the time in premium, was because of Cobra Kai. So that was the reason why I joined and I actually, you know, still, still maintain the account. But when you, when you watched Cobra Kai for the first time, you just felt like this was a Netflix show. Like, in, and it yeah. was a matter of time before it was going to go on Netflix and, and look where we are today. Yeah. What's, what's amazing is that for all the new audience, you know, they're, they're watching Cobra Kai for the first time. And, you know what I mean? Cobra Kai has been around since, you know, it's, we're going into almost three years now. It's just, it's an it's a amazing opportunity for bringing in the new audience. Because I think the first episode brought in over 100 million views. It was something ridiculous. It broke records. Crazy. So it's, it's like every season that was like season one for the new audience, it's a new season for them. And yeah. Guess what? You got season two right after that ready to go. And then guess what? Season three is right around the corner. Yeah, so two months. Yeah, so no, that's that's great. I mean, that was actually one of my questions I was going to ask because I was, we have we have to get you back in there for season three. So thank you for uh, for sharing. And, <laughs> yeah, it's it's amazing. You know, you got these uh, these characters like also homeless Lynn, You know, Susan Gallagher. We we actually yeah. did an interview as well, and you know, a, a lot of these characters that you know appear in you know one or two or a few episodes, and also Armand, um, the. 
um, the landlord. Um, so we did an interview session as well. It's like these characters have a few episodes, in some cases one, but they're just such a memorable part. And that that's credit to the, to the writing, you know what I mean? So it's very rare that, you know, someone that appears in one episode can be such a fan favorite and then so memorable. Um, it's just all credit to the writing. It is, it is. I mean, I mean, look, when, when, when they asked me to, you know, go on tape for the show, for the role, um, when I read the material and I imagined, I wasn't thinking me, you know, I, I wasn't. I, I felt that they were looking for a completely different type. And I just said, you know what, I'm going to just do what I do and if they dig it, they dig it. And if they don't, they don't. And when I got the, the call saying, oh yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're playing this role. Um, it, was, it was really cool because it was one of those moments where it was like, you know, as an actor, you can get type, or typecast or stereotyped in different things. And it's really hard to break someone's original vision of what they write and how they, they see this guy. And it's really a treat when you can show them something that maybe they hadn't thought about before and where they say, wait, where, where'd he just do? Wait, rewind that? Oh, okay, yeah, that's the guy, you know? So the greatest um, compliment they paid me, the, 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 the writers, um, John, Josh, and Hayden. Uh, when I went back for season two, I was kind of off in the wings in the background while they were all at Video Village. If you're not familiar with that term, that's where they have all the monitors set up and you know all the director's chairs and they're all on headsets and they're watching and then discussing and then da da da. And they were all doing that, working on a different scene and a different set. So I was maybe 30 feet away, just minding my own business, thinking about what I was gonna do with the scene. And uh, once they broke and cut and were ready to move on, uh, they came walking over to me to say hello and, and welcome me back and everything. And the greatest compliment they could have paid me, they were like, they said, you know what? For months now in the writer's room and everything, we've been laughing, just imagining how you're gonna say these lines. Uh, because if it was like season one, you know, and to hear, to hear guys like this who have such a wide and successful breadth of experience between the three of them to, for them to say, you know what, we, we've been laughing amongst ourselves for the last few months, just imagining how you're gonna say this stuff. That was pretty darn cool, you know? Yeah. So yeah, there, it's a great, great place to work and, and a great team to, you know, be fortunate enough to, do, uh, to be part of. Yeah, and you know, with the, with the show, you know, you got this new generation of, of kids and then yet you still got some of the, a lot of the nostalgia and the callbacks to the 80s mm -hmm. and it just it just feels like you know when you and Johnny have your scenes it's kind of designed for some of the older fans like kind of the, the nostalgia stuff and I, I see there's more of a connection with you guys and that's why I, I do hope and I, I know you can't share this but I do hope in season three um, we, we do see a little bit more depth to your role because I think they're one just because you're so talented I know there's there's so much that we could see but I feel like there's just some hilarious scenes that we could see with you and Johnny that we've yet to explore. And that, that line that you mentioned that, uh, you know, this isn't the geek squad. I actually laugh at that even more because I used to work at Best Buy and I know the type of support questions that people used to ask. So that just gave me an additional laugh. Um, just, just hearing that it was just great. Some, something so simple was just so funny. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, you touched on something about the nostalgia and everything. A lot of the folks that I meet and, you know, it's kind of, I've, this sounds weird to say, but you know, I've 
ever since the early 90s with all my children, I still get recognized for that. And to not, because it feels like another lifetime, it, it doesn't really, you know, bring me anything. It doesn't bring me, you know, any feeling of joy or, or anything. But, and not to say I don't appreciate the fans of, you know, of all my children and everything, because without them, I, I, I was nothing. But it doesn't, it doesn't really give me a feeling either way. It's just, yeah, that was a long time ago. I, you know, I appreciate it that I'm flattered you remember me this late, uh, this, you know, long a time after. But to have people like stop me these days and be like, I know, I, I know you, I, I know your voice, I, Cobra Kai. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. You're the pawn shop guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun because we're talking about a completely different generation now, you know, you, there's so many, and I mean, I'm, I'm putting you mid twenties, I'm gonna guess, mid to late twenties. You know, I, I was at one point, but I'm actually, I just turned 32 now, but I'll, I'll take the mid twenties. I, I get mid twenties uh, more than I get well, early thirties, so. Listen, compared to me, you're still a sperm, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Um, yeah, so uh, it's cool to, you know, meet the older crowd, you know, the, the original Karate Kid fans that were seeing it, at, you know, as young guys like I was watching it. And for to, to the person, everyone, loves the nostalgia factor, the, the 80s music, the fact that Johnny's stuck in the 80s and, and, and all the callbacks and you know how they tie. What was fascinating is you don't really have to be a Karate Kid fan. You don't have to see the movies to love the show and understand what's happening because they bring in old footage so well and, and give the backstory. They, they just did a really good job with this show. When someone tells me, oh, you know, yeah, we saw Cobra Kai, it's good. I'm like, yeah, it is good. I'm glad, you know, you, you got the opportunity to watch it because it is a darn good show. Yeah, yeah, and, and you touched on that, you know, with the uh, bringing in the old footage and um, also bringing in uh, unused footage, which give us uh, additional context to scenes that and just movies that we thought we knew everything about, but seeing some of that unused footage is is just unbelievable. And it's it's amazing that you know the show is being written, uh, you know, by uh, you know fans of the show. You know what I mean? So it just it, it gives a uh, a much uh, a much due fan service that you wouldn't get from you know folks that were just kind of given a job, so to speak. Kind of like Quentin Tarantino, you know, it was just a a movie buff who worked at a at a video store yeah. and realized I'm sure I can probably do something pretty cool and look at him, you know? That's how he got his start. He was just a movie buff. And listen, John, Josh and, and uh, Hayden, yeah, they were Karate Kid fans. And for them to come up with this twist of you know let's just flip everything over and bring this originality to it that's going to appeal to the faithful karate kid fans and bring in the newer fans be with you know all the teen storylines and whatnot it's just so clever you know and then you know the fact that they go out of their way i noticed i noticed with each of my episodes, they, they almost use my scenes to set up what's going to happen the rest of that episode, you know, to set up the, and that's, you know, that, that's a really cool, the way they, the way they, you know, they go out of their way once they realize that, you know, they built this world that's working now, how can they continue to use each part of that world, each part of, you know, every character that they've, you know, they, they've brought in? Because, again, they, they didn't have to keep using me. Hey, 
you know, I'm the, I was a funny guy saying, oh, it's, it's well loved, you know, in the first episode with Elle McPherson and uh, the, the Sports Illustrated. But to go out of their way to say, okay, now we got to find something else for him to do and to set up that, you know, the rest of that episode. And it's the same way with season three. They, uh, I'm a tool to set up the storyline for that episode. So it's a, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. That's awesome. No, that's, and we're, as much as you're grateful, you know, we're, we're lucky as fans and um, we, we can't wait to, to see season three and to also hear that season four is already back in training. Um, you know, we saw, you know, we saw the outlines of all the episodes being completed and it looks like the, the scripts are going to start getting written. So, I mean, there's, there's no way that we're not going to see you in, uh, in season four. Um, well, no one's told me anything yet, but uh, knock, knock. I mean, you are you are uh, Italian, so unless, unless you get whacked <laughs> in season three, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, uh, you know, I just, uh, I'd love to like get into the dojo with Johnny because you know he he harbors this anger towards me, you know. I'd love to like that scenario where it's like you know he's fine, he finally has enough, and he's like, all right, you know what, come see me at the dojo. And, you know, me to like, take, take like a ninja outfit that someone pawned to me and show up ridiculous looking in, in head to toe ninja outfit saying, I'm ready, sucker, let's go. And then just get my ass kicked by Johnny. Yeah, I, I actually did have a, a question uh, from the fans actually. And it was, um, you know, are you a uh, team Miyagi-Do or team Cobra Kai? Uh, <laughs> I am uh, Miyagi Kai. There you go. So that's unique. I haven't had anybody from uh, Cobra Kai or Karate Kid answer with that. That that's actually a good one. That's another one that's uh, that's that's unique to you. So I'm yeah, feel that as well. 